Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a drugstore haul. I did go to the drugstore and pick up a few new things. I'm definitely going to be calling this like a mini haul because it is not a lot, but they are part of like a new collection and it's new to the drugstore minus one thing. One thing your girl slacked on and just gotten around to picking it up now, but I still wanted to share with you guys. So I always love to incorporate drugstore and higher end here on my channel, kind of as a mixture because why not? I still buy and love drugstore products, so yes. Drugstore is just as good as the higher end. So let's go ahead and jump on into what I picked up recently at the drugstore. So the first two things that I was so excited about, that I'm still so excited about, and that I went on a hunt for are these two bad boys right over here. They're the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. So I literally went on a hunt for these. I don't know if you guys have gotten your hands on them or if you've heard about them. So they are really new to Wet n Wild. It's part of their summer collection. And I'm not sure if it's like a limited thing or if it's going to be part of their whole line. Not really sure about that. I know that they're going to be launching on their website soon, if not already. But... I literally died when I saw it, so I like needed to get it. I went to my first Walgreens and they only had one. And then I was like, well, I really want the second one. That's the one that I went for. I really wanted this shade right here, the Precious Petals. And they didn't have it. So I'm like, okay, I guess I'll just get the Crown My Canopy. But I really wanted this one. So I was like, okay, I'll pick up this one. And we'll just go to another Walgreens or CVS and see if they have it. Well, we went to two of them and they were completely sold out. I don't know if they were sold out or if they just didn't like kind of fill in the display that they had there because it is not going to be in like the basic unit where Wet n Wild stuff is. It's going to be in a display. So I just didn't know if they just didn't fill it or if they literally were sold out. I was like, okay, well then we're going to another one. So we went to another one. They didn't have it. I called around and then finally someone was like, yeah, we have it. We only have one of the shade and I'm like, can you please hold it for me? I'll be right there. So I went on a major hunt that night and finally scored and got them. And I'm so excited. If you guys have been watching me or know anything about me, I love highlighting and I love highlighters. So that's like my favorite part of my makeup routine, as you can see. So yeah, I was really excited when I got these. And the best part is, is that they're only four bucks. I'm sorry, what? So yeah, well, four plus, you know, the tax and everything. But I'm so excited, so I'm like waving these around, sorry. But I will show close-ups of what they look like, and again, like four bucks at the drugstore, so I was so excited. So this one is more of like a cooler tone champagne highlight, and then this one is more of like that peachy, bronzed, like blushy highlight, I want to say. It'd be really nice, I feel, over top of like my original highlight, like if I wanted to mix the two. I don't know if I'm going to wear this alone or not. It'll probably be really pretty for summer actually, but I feel like I'm going to get a lot more use out of the Precious Petals. So following up with the Mega Glow Collection from Wet n Wild, they also have this. It's called the Multi Stick, and it's like a pale highlighting stick. Definitely my tone of highlighter, but I'm assuming you can also use this into the inner tear ducts of your eyes, the tip of your nose, you know, your cupid's bow, wherever you would highlight. You can use this underneath your highlighter to really get your highlight to be that more extreme and pull up the pigment. Or you can just use it like as an eyeshadow base. You can use it for anything pretty much is what they're claiming. So I'm just going to do a quick swatch since I have not even opened it yet. So the packaging is really cute on it. It looks like that. It has floral designs. So cute. And then the actual highlighter is that champagne -y color. So I'm going to swatch it. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. It really reminds me of the Benefit What's Up. And it's so nice. It's more of that cooler tone highlight. So I'm really going to love this. I already can see. This will be really nice for summer. Like a quick little glow. Maybe on the go. <laughs> that rhymed. But, you know, really cute. And I just was like, they made it into a stick form. You're mine. So, yeah. This was, I want to say... $4 again. Don't quote me. I will try to leave all the products down below for you guys so you can guys can check them out. But super duper cute. Then I also picked up the Wet n Wild Mega Liner in the white shade. So they had a few other colors over there. They had, I think, like a baby blue and maybe a purple and then the white. So as you guys know, I have black eyeliners, but I don't really venture out into any other colors. And I feel like for spring and summer, why not? And I think that this one will be really nice. So I love when eyeliners are like this. I feel like it gives a really nice, easy application and really flawless. So it comes with the bristle like that. And let's see what the pigment looks like. Oh yes. So that is really pigmented for a drugstore liner. That is really nice. There's like no streakiness whatsoever. And I just did like one line. 
Woo! Super excited about this. So yeah, I found this in another display in Walgreens. Um, it's not like in the basic unit. So definitely if you guys are going to go check out these products, they're going to be like where the newer products are. So just giving you a heads up. The next two products that are new are these CoverGirl Katy Perry lipsticks. I'm so excited for these because they are matte. So they are Katy Cat matte lipsticks. I picked up two shades that are like the pale pink mauvies. Very neutral, I know. Uh, actually, my mom picked them up. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, she actually surprised me and picked them up and left them in my room with a cute little note and was like, I thought you would like these. So yeah, I didn't personally buy these, but they're new and they're out there and I want to share. I like the packaging on them. It says her name on it and has the color down here. And then says that they are matte right over there. So this is what this one is. This one is Spank Specs. Oh my god, I totally butchered that name, but it is a very nice pale nudie pink shade. It looks like that. Super pretty. I love it. Oh, it smells good too. It smells like a normal lipstick. <laughs> People laugh at me when I smell products, but I like to smell them. I don't know why. So it smells like a normal lipstick, but also has like a hint of like a fruity scent to it. Yum. So that is what this one looks like. I'm really excited to try these out because again, they are matte and that's what I've been going towards a lot lately. And then this one is in Couture Trio Pets. Guys, I don't even know what I'm saying. So this is more of the deeper. So that one is what that looks like swatched. It is a really pretty like deeper, I want to say like orangey nude. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's super pretty. I don't know what it's pulling up on camera, but it's more of like a pinky orange nude. I'm making up my own tones over here, girl. Okay, so then this one is that first shade again. I didn't swatch it, so it looks like this. Totally my color. It's very pale and super pretty. I don't remember how much these range since I personally didn't pick them up, but they are, I want to say, like in the $7 to $8 range. Super inexpensive, and I feel like this one is going to be really nice. The packaging even feels nice. I don't know. And then the last thing that I picked up was the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm. And what this is going to do is going to act as a primer for my foundation. I'm sure you guys have heard of this before. Everyone seems to be using it. I saw Nikki Tutorials use it a long time ago. I think she might have started a trend. I'm not too sure. But a bunch of people have been using it now for their primers. And I'm really excited. So I heard it smells like men. Like cologne. So let's go ahead and smell it. Oh yeah. Full on man. Mm. I love that smell, so I do, don't really mind that smell. I'm just a little nervous that it's gonna like be sensitive on my skin, but I did get the sensitive one, so we shall see. And this was about seven bucks, I believe, at Walgreens, so I'm really excited to try this out since a lot of primers are really pricey, and I mean, drugstore ones aren't, but I've never really found one that I loved, so we're gonna try this out and see how it works. By the way, the liner dried on my hand, and it's still very, very pigmented, so if you're looking for a white eyeliner, I think you should check this out because that looks really nice. So yeah, this was the Post Shave Balm and a lot of people have been loving it. So I want to give it out a try. I know I'm a little late. I know it's not new to the drugstore at all, but I did want to just pop it in here. So those were all of the products that I picked up at the drugstore. I told you it was going to be miniature, but I still wanted to share with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe found it a little helpful if you guys are heading over to the drugstore. And yeah, I think that's all that I have to say in this video. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you love drugstore hauls. I will definitely try to include more drugstore to my channel. I always try to give a good combination. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I think that's it. Until my next one, I will see you then. Bye!